Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a Wizard of Oz mini using those CC and Sissy plate that I got and some Wizard of Oz polishes from Night Owl Lacquer. We've got Over the Rainbow and this beautiful red is No Place Like Home. We have a gold and it is called The Yellow Brick Road. This insanely beautiful pink is You've Always Had the Power. And this luscious green uh, is Emerald City. I did start off with my, um, you know, base coat, my nail teeks. So I'm going to be using the CC and CC Fairy Tale Plate today and a bunch of stampers. I mean, I'm breaking a bunch of stampers out because I'm going to do some reverse stamping. I'm going to be using On the Black from Brave Steva and my Clear Jelly Scraper. I know I had pulled out that Beauty Big Bang one, but I changed my mind. And this is the very first time I have played with this plate, so I'm just going to roll with it. So that did not work. We're going to break out our tape <laughs> and clean up some of this excess. Like I said, I'm going to do some reverse stamping. I'm just going to add some of these colors in to each design and try to get it as cohesive as I can. I'm really, really happy with this plate though. I knew I would be and that is why I ordered it. I know there was a lot of interest in the CC and Sissy haul that I did. Um, I do plan on swatching these plates, but I had to do a manicure. <laughs> Got that little hot air balloon. And then now we're going to do Glenda. I am just stoked about this mayonnaise. Kind of hard to see. And then I'm going to do um, the little like legs. And this is going to be, these are Dorothy's little legs. Because they got the cute little socks. Not the crazy witch legs that are sticking out from under the house. So. There we go. And I'm going to clean this plate off with a pure acetone and a cotton ball using my handy dandy cotton claw. Ha <laughs> ha. Love it, love it. And I'm just going to use a dotting tool and I'm going to fill this in. I'm using the colors that I painted on my nails. So, you know, I didn't, I'm not putting Glenda on the gold nail, so I'm going to use some of the other polishes from this um, collection. This was the um, Find Yourself in Oz collection from Night Owl Lacquer. It's just a beautiful collection. There's another one in it and it's called I'll Get You My Pretty and I've already used that polish in a manicure so I didn't use it today. I wanted to use these other ones that I have not played with yet. Now I'm going to break out Zoya's, um, if I get it to focus, Tasha, and this is going to be my flesh tone color. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think about it before I sat down to start playing, so I hopped up real quick and found this up on the shelf, and I'm just going to use it, and I think it works out really well. It's opaque enough, so um, it's, it worked out really good. I'm going to use this on um, Glenda and also on Dorothy's legs. <laughs> I'm going to go in a little bit of touch up. That's what I love about using the clear stampers is you, you can go in and, you know, you can flip it over and see how it's going. And if you missed a spot and flip it back over and put some more on it. I got a little crazy. She's got a little hair in her mouth, but we'll be okay with it. Now I'm going to do Dorothy's little legs with that same Zoya polish. How cute. And I've decided to use Sinstuk because I think, I don't remember what color her socks were, white maybe. Um, but I decided to use Over the Rainbow because it's just so pretty. And I did speed this up. I don't want y'all thinking I'm just that fast. Um, I'm, I've gotten pretty fast, but I'm not that fast. There we go. 
And now for the ruby pumps, the ruby slippers. I'm just so, so excited about this manicure. I am a Wizard of Oz junkie. I need to watch it again. And have movie night. So there we go. You see that purple jumping out of that ruby. And I just think that that really makes it. it gives it such dimension. Ugh. So there we go. And for these with the words, um, this one says follow the yellow brick road. I'm just going to dot in some color into these kind of like open parts of letters. And just, you know, enjoy it. You know. Just give it a little bit more bling. And then we've got somewhere over the rainbow and those little lines are just too tiny for me to get color in each one of those pieces of rainbow so i'm just going to use like three colors and you know add some add some pizzazz to them really 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 <laughs> how much do you like it tina i really like it <laughs> And I know for some people, painting all the nails is a little overboard, doing designs on all of them. But I enjoy it. I have fun playing, and it's it's really hard for me not to go just bananas when I do these. So I'm going to use some Super Dry to go over all of the decals. And this will just help to ensure that when I transfer these to my nails, that even that outline in black also transfers trying to pick out the driest ones first to do <laughs> so I don't smear anything and you could use you know like wet and wild clear or you know another clear polish I don't like to use fast dry top coats or quick dry top coats on these that's just a personal preference um, so you know but play with it use use what you have in your collection and see what works for you little hot air balloon so cute so I'm gonna apply some yellow stopper to my nails and use this as my sticky base for getting the decals to transfer from the stampers to my nails and here we go let's get started I'm gonna put somewhere over the rainbow on my thumb and it just barely fits I mean gosh what a tight fit that is. <laughs> I didn't shrink the image. I wasn't I wasn't trying to, you know, add to this project. Because it was already a pretty big project to do this manicure with all these colors and decals. And then follow the yellow brick road goes on the red nail. I know I'm think I know you're thinking it should have gone on the gold nail, but with with uh, Dorothy wearing the ruby pumps, I had to, you know, I had to move stuff around from what I originally thought. And that tricky little hot air balloon, because it's not on a clear stamper, got that lined up pretty good. And then now we're going to do ruby slippers, Dorothy slippers, on that middle nail on the gold one. And then now Glenda. Glenda goes on the pink. <laughs> and I am tapping those down. There we go. Ta-da! So I'm going to do some cleanup with my um, acetone and my cleanup brush. Just try to tidy everything up and get ready to top coat. And look underneath because that's where I always find globs of stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat. I wasn't worried about smearing on this one because these were pretty dry. And there's Woody jumping in. Look at him. Such a stinker. And being sure to cap that free edge. So here is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got a swatch photo coming up. I would love to hear what you think about this. Leave me a comment down below. I always love chatting with you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.